Hey everybody! I am in a new classroom today and I wonder if you can guess which one I'm in. This week we actually only have two days of read alouds left. So this week we're only going to be in this classroom for two days. And I have two stories that I want to share with you from the My First Hands-On Bible. This is the Bible that we give to our preschoolers who come to Light and Life Christian Preschool every year. So if you've been to our preschool already, you should have one of these at home. And if you're coming this year, we cannot wait to meet you and give you one of your very own. I want to start on page 360 today as we talk about the things that Jesus did after he was raised from the dead. See, last week we learned about how Jesus died on the cross and then he raised himself back to life. It was the biggest miracle of all time, and it proved that Jesus is really God. And so this week, we're going to read two stories about the very last things that Jesus did after he was raised back to life and before he went back to heaven. He's not going to die again. He only died once, and he is still alive today. So today we're going to read about something special he did with his very special friends, the disciples. Jesus and the miraculous catch of fish. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in a boat, but they caught nothing all night. At dawn, Jesus was standing on the beach. The disciples could not see who he was. He called out, fellows, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. Then he said, throw out your net on the right hand side of the boat and you'll get some. So they did and they couldn't haul in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then the disciple Jesus loved said to Peter, it's the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his tunic, for he had stripped for work, jumped into the water, and headed to the shore. The others stayed with the boat and pulled the loaded net to the shore, for there were only about a hundred yards from shore. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them, fish cooking over a charcoal fire and some bread. Bring some of the fish you've just caught, Jesus said. So Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to shore. There were 153 large fish, and yet the net hadn't torn. What a cool miracle that was that Jesus did for his friends. He wanted to show them that his power is greater than any power that people have. See, Simon and John and all the other disciples, no, not all the other disciples, but many of the other disciples were fishermen. And Jesus taught them how to fish for people. And that's kind of a weird thing to say, but he was teaching them how to bring people into Jesus's love. And so when the disciples heard that Jesus had died, they kind of just went back to fishing for fish. But fishing for fish is not nearly as important as bringing people to Jesus. We have one more story left that we're going to read together in the My First Hands-On Bible. But don't forget that there are lots of stories that we skipped while we've been reading through this this whole month. And so if you have a picture Bible at home, I encourage you to grab a parent or a grown-up or a big brother or sister and have somebody read the Bible to you so that you can learn more about how much Jesus loves you. I'll see you tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.